Sperm 101. Sperms are made up of a head, a midpiece, and a tail. The sperm uses its tail to propel itself through liquids. Within the midpiece are the mitochondria. They give sperm their energy and also release water and other byproducts. The sperm's head contains its genetic material, DNA, packaged into 23 chromosomes. At the tip of the sperm's head is a package called the acrosome. It contains enzymes which break down protective layers on the egg's surface. And when this happens, fertilization can take place. However, not all human sperm cells look the same. Some have two heads. <laughs> Some have huge heads or no heads. God damn it! Others may be bent at right angles, but most of the unusual ones are not fertile. Mm. The liquid the sperm are in is called seminal fluid. It contains sugar, salts and various proteins to keep the sperm healthy and functional. Together, the sperm and seminal fluid are called semen. To make a baby, you need both the sperm and the seminal fluid, as neither on their own is likely to result in fertilization. That's why vasectomy, preventing sperm and seminal fluid from being delivered together, works so well in preventing pregnancy. If you enjoyed this clip, feel free to follow the links on screen for more interesting articles and free courses from the Open University.